I'm going to show you a little way of uh, doing some lighting control, the UDP control on the UI. Okay. In the settings page, first of all, on the local, you've got to make sure that your uh, UDP messages functionality is turned on. Okay, that's in this section here. Now, if we go to, there's a couple of ways of getting there. There's either through the uh, main page here, you'll suddenly have UDP up there. And I've set up three buttons here. And what I've done then is I'm using another program called QLC, which is a free download. And in, in QLC, you can set up the UI24 to send UDP messages, which become OSC messages. Uh, and they then can control a virtual lighting console. Okay, let's see how we do that. Number one, we need to know the IP of the computer that this actual QLC software is running on. The IP address of this computer is 192.168.0.20. And in the inputs and outputs section of QLC, you select this as your input. Now, your output to DMX, back to DMX, is really dependent on your device that you're using. I'm using an FDDI uh, little USB UART converter here, uh, which is basically that one there, okay? And in QLC, I've selected that as my output device. So Universe 1, this is the IP address of this computer, which needs to be obviously on the same IP range as the UI24 so they can communicate. Uh, and then that's your FTDI USB UART. But you can use many, 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 many different products, uh, including MIDI and a lot of other things. I mean, you could convert, in a sense, you could convert the OSC messages from UDP here to MIDI output if you felt like it, okay? You could convert them to a MIDI output directly um, and see what that does to control triggering other sounds or events on a uh, sequencer, for example. You could do that as well. That's possible to do. So let's play, stop, and uh, pause on, on a uh, door could be controlled from the UDP uh, messages here. Now, I'll take you quickly through QLC. Obviously, this is not a tutorial about QLC, about QLC, but actually how uh, we control it from UI. The first thing you do in QLC is create a fixture. Now what I've done is I've created a very, very simple RGB LED, uh, something like this Martin Rush that I've got, which has basically, you can set it up for four or eight channel control, uh, white level, red level, green level, blue level, okay? Um, so you set up your actual RGB from the list that they have, they already have these in there. So you can just select it, say four channels, and select the DMX number where this starts. And now functions, so there's my functions. I've created three scenes, scene zero, scene one, and scene two, and they correspond to the three colors on my LED. I'm not using a show. You can test the lights are working by using the simple desk here, and this will control the lights of DMX one, two, three. You can set up any DMX channel in a sense. Again, I'm not covering DMX here. I'm just showing you how to assign UDP messages from the UI to uh, to control lighting. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my scenes because that's where we create things. So I've got three scenes created here. You then, after you create your scenes and you check that they're working, okay, you then you go to your virtual console and for each scene, you create a button. The way that's done is, I'll just stop that here, okay and that's in edit mode now, you grab a button, okay? And then you right click on the button, you click widget properties, tell them what function to name it, of course, and then what function it is. The function is one of the scenes you created. So you create the button that controls the scene. And I've set them up to be toggle on and off. So when I hit the red button, red comes on. If I hit red again, red will go off. If I hit red, then blue, then I'll have red and blue on at the same time. But you can change all that. Input universe and input channel are very simple. All you would do then is click auto detect. And if you've set up the UDP messaging correctly here, okay, then that will automatically detect. I'll show you how that's done. I'll just take that off. I'll cancel this for a second. 
I'll minimize that a little bit so we can see both screens on at the same time on the screen for us to make our life easy. Okay. Uh, that's what it does normally, doesn't it? It's like moving it into portrait mode. Okay, here we go. And bam, I'll take this little baby here and move it along. Okay, so if I right click here and I click on widget property and I hit auto detect and I click on the red button, for example, as you can see, the universe it selected was the OSC universe we created here. Okay, and then the actual button OSC message that it sent is this message. And then we'll go back to the UI24 and show you how to set that up. And I'll also have that on the website itself, um, on the video itself, what commands that can be used for simplicity. Okay, I'll create that. I'll delete this button because I've got these other three set up here. So just to show you quickly, if I hit play here and I move this along, if I hit red, you can see red will come on. Red again, red off, blue. Blue on, blue off, green, green on, green, green off. Okay, well that part is easy. Let's go into our UI24 now. So we'll click on edit mode and let's see what we've written here. So we named it red, easy. This is the IP address of the computer that is running QLC. So, and this is the port number that we're using. That can be changed, changed on your QLC and then change it here. Probably the most important thing to note is the actual command itself and what the command means. V, you have to put this in to be able to send binary commands out of UDP. BT1 is the actual name that we gave it there, uh, but this can be anything you want to and it'll come up automatically there. It's just for my reference button one, for example. The F key there, the F, um, sorry, the F character there means it's a floating point because all OSC messages need to be floating. And then after that is the arguments that you need to send uh, QLC in order to, for it to understand that this is a, an actual um, OSC command basically. But in reality what you need to worry about if it's a button and you want to send a command is copy this along and I'll share that on the website and just change this bit here. That's all you need to change, because if you change these three characters here to anything you want, that means it'll have a different reference and a different number, a different character. Once you do that, you hit save, okay, and that's it. So if we wanted to create another uh, command here, I could click on this, double click here, sorry, right click, copy, okay, save that, and then I can go here, for example, and name this one. Uh, say pink, okay, and then the IP as we had before 192.168.0.20, okay, and then the port 7700 because that's what we've set up QLC for, and the command control V in there, okay, and I'm going to change that now to BT4, for example, button number four. And I'm going to choose OK. I'm going to choose a pink color and save that. So that'll be the pink color. If I go here then now and I create back to my functions, let's create a new scene. OK. Click on that button there. And that's scene three. Select the fixture from our fixture list that we made up. And then click on RGB and turn these on. And RGB red, a bit of red, and a bit of white, for example, to be our pink color. All right, click OK. That's saved as scene three now. Then we go to our virtual console and we add a button. So this is still not in edit mode, so you better take that into edit mode. OK, sorry, drag a button here. And widget properties, button three, we're going to call it pink now. Okay, pink, and the function is scene number three, okay? And the function can trigger a lot of things as you can see there. The easiest way now is to hit auto detect here, click on pink, oopsie, I'm still in edit mode and that's why this came up. So make sure you hit save, not clear. If you hit clear or cancel, this will go away. So save, take that out of there, hit pink, okay, oopsie. Why did that come out? Okay, right click, 
widgets auto detect pink green okay green comes up and pink doesn't I wonder why let's find out why edit mode Okay, 770020. Edit mode. That's why. Port number. See, I can make mistakes too. There we go. Probably saw it before me on the video. Jeez. Okay. Take that off. <laughs> Take that on. Hit pink. And there we go. So if it's green, it's that button pink. Okay. So there would be the same numbers now. We need to check that. Okay. Let's check it. Cool. Is that BT4 as well? It is. Haha. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. Let's go to this then, then and change it to BT5. I like making errors on video because then you can see how to fix them. Cool, take it out of there. Hit PT5, there we go. Got it going. Okay. Right. Now, let's name it pink. All right, beautiful. Now, let's test it. Pink on, green on, blue. There, take that off, take that off, take that off. There you go. Got your whole light show that you can set up. And then you can save this as a preset if you wanted to easily even. Now, remember, a scene can include many colors and, and changes as well. It doesn't have to just include one color. So here you can have single colors. Then you can create a whole lot of other buttons here that are actual complete scenes with all your LEDs, the moving lights going between one scene and the other one triggering other functionality as well. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.